Give me a little breakdown of what's yeah. going on so far. We're gassing up the truck. So I got out of the truck, put my credit card in the machine, took it out, selected the grade of fuel, put the fuel spigot into the truck, and we gassed it up. Now we're headed sheep hunting. We're loading up in the trucks. We're gonna see if we can find a ram this morning. It hasn't been very successful yet. There's a lot of ewes and lambs on the road. It's a late hunt. We're hunting sheep in their winter corridors, so we're just gonna tear up the country with glass there, and see what we can find. We got a lot of days, so we're not gonna be we're not gonna be too jumpy on the trigger for sure. 23 years of waiting, so we're gonna make it look well. so we can see back this yeah. way. So that's the one we need to be on later. Alright, so uh, we've spent three days up here glassing the same country, just tearing it up. So it's supposed to be 67 degrees today and uh, the same for the next following days. So I think we're going to pull out for a couple days. There's a storm coming in and come back and tear up the countryside again. What the heck, man? You pull over and take a nap? No, man, it was gnarly. Gnarly. There was wrecks all over the top of uh, I've seen three other ones. of rabbit ears and uh, yeah, I mean seven hours to get here. It was ridiculous. Wow. But we're here. Glad we're you're here. Yeah, round two, baby. Pretty good. Smells pretty good, but I'm using these new those new binoculars and I catch movement in my eye and I focus on that movement and I see this and I and I see something underneath and I seen this cougar grab this lamb roll and then I couldn't see anything it's behind a boulder and then I seen it grab had it around its throat you know it's walking carrying this lamp about 350 yards off that is bad and it was That's really amazing. something else I mean I'm still kind of shaking about it all right so round two it's uh we've been gone about a week it snowed at about 12,000 feet Ram should be moving into the area. We're gonna head up. It's just starting to crack a little bit of light. We're gonna see if we can get some eyes on some rams. But one of the guys over here scouting yesterday found a band of seven rams, three big mature rams. We wanna take a look at them and uh, see, but round two, here we go.
these uh, other guys have a tag. They killed the ram last night. Uh, they killed the broomed ram. It's not uh, the full curl flared ram that we're up here looking for, but uh, but yeah. But look at the maturity difference in the faces on him. Look at how dark chocolate he is, white and muzzle. Look how he's got those like, those protruding eyes. Golly. So we just found a uh, 10 year old and an eight year old ram with a couple four year olds. He's a big mature ram. Price six eighths, three quarter heavy broomed, but uh, I think we're gonna give him a pass. We still got 14 days in the season and uh, we got another big storm coming in and and uh, and we know there's a couple smoker rams in here. Um, you know, full curl, fully broomed, 10 plus year old sheep. So I think we're gonna give this guy a pass, maybe keep an eye on him for a bit. And I don't know, we'll see if we turn up. A few people in the party think I'm crazy, but we waited a long time to kill a ram. snowed out man we are snowed out officially it is two o'clock and we've been sitting here for about an hour it's getting so bad we can't even see 300 400 yards so we're gonna call it a snow day tomorrow's supposed to be sunny uh, hopefully the rams will be out which i'm sure they will be um, they're not going to move much uh, they are on their feet which is surprising but uh, yeah we just it's just coming down too hard we got to just call it for the day Bruce, he's the mascot of this this sheep expedition. He's been with us for the last couple days. He'll jump in the back of the truck in a minute and he'll go with us. But he's pretty good. Three good rams, one uh, double on broom right. ram, one open curl, wide flaring ram. Uh, some really nice sheep for sure. Well, I think we're gonna shoot this 10 year old uh, double broomer. Watched him for a couple days. Yeah, I think he's a great ram. I think he's like mid to high 70s. We've named him Dale. He's broadside. Take your time. Hold low left, Rose. Come down a full minute. Like anything, hunting is about uh, spending time with friends and family and and uh, kind of putting a, a core group of guys together that have the same passion. I mean, for each one of you, I mean, this is your ram too. It was your sheep hunt. You know, we're only gonna draw realistically one of these in our lifetime in, in Colorado and to be able to have friends that are passionate about sheep hunting take part in it. I mean, in all honesty, I've done it several times, probably with 15 deserts or so, a few Rockies, and uh, and every time it was, it was no different, other than this time I was the one pulling the trigger. I mean, this is just such a great experience to be able to to take part in this and and be outside and and you know, number one, 
conservation tool I truly believe is hunting. And uh, each one of us here are passionate about it and want to see these sheep do well so that someday we, you know, if we're lucky enough to draw a tag, can take part in this. And, and I mean, it's, it's hunter's dollars. It's, uh, it's the contribution of the sportsman that makes this, this feasible um, throughout the world um, in hunting. And, and I mean, this is just such a majestic animal. I mean, this, is, this has been a dream of mine since I was uh, eight years old to, to shoot a bighorn. I, I never thought I'd have to wait until I was 40. What am I, TJ? <laughs> oh, that's right, 43. 40. Uh, 43 to get it done. But uh, this is my one and only Colorado Ram, and I will cherish him. <laughs> I knew if I kept recording I'd get something good. <laughs>